Uh, my name is Sally Gilliard, and I'm a member of the Native Plant Society of Houston. And um, today we're planting frog fruit in the pollinator bed here at Gregory Lincoln School. And frog fruit is a native plant. It, that means that it's, it's been around in Texas forever. And uh, you can find it in the prairies and the fields all over the state. But here in, in sort of the southern part of the state, it is an evergreen and, and grows and blooms year round. It's a great ground cover for your um, flower beds and it'll choke out some of the weeds that are trying to uh, find a place <clears throat> in your bed. So today we're in the, at Gregory Lincoln, as I said, and we're in the front part of the bed and we've got the wonderful frog fruit that Carol has picked and we can see that it's got roots growing on the base of it. If we sort of partially cover it, I think it will, the stem and everything will root. It's a real vigorous grower. Um, a friend who's here today said she planted it by her driveway and she has to keep flipping it back off of her driveway because it will cover anything. So it's a great ground cover. We have a big clump of it here today, so I'm going to separate it out as much as I can and, uh, and then just get the rooted part down in the ground but then just lay the stem along the ground and I think it will root from little nodules along the stem. And if you look at it, you can see it's trying to root in different places along the stem. Frog fruit makes this real delicate little flower that, um, that bumblebees and bees love. So it's a, it's a great plant to attract bees and uh, butterflies and pollinators to your garden. And uh, then, while they're here in your near your vegetable garden, they will um, pollinate your vegetables as well. Uh, it likes a little bit of water. <clears throat> so occasionally, when you're out watering, just sprinkle a little water on it to keep it moist. Houston usually has enough rain that it's not a problem. And if it grows into your path, you can mow it. They say that mowing it while it's blooming, it doesn't really like that. But the rest of the time of the year, it's fair game for running your mower over the top of it. Here's the frog fruit flower. It's just a tiny little thing, as you can see. It, um, <clears throat> it, if a bumblebee lands on it, you can't see the flower underneath the bumblebee. But it's still a, a powerful attractor for insects, which is really wonderful. We're just gonna water it in a little bit um, to get it started thinking about rooting. 